as Mitch's magic is about to be pulled into line for the first. We check the totes on the first at Sandown. One Il Marcio for Brett Preble. Il Marcio coming in and the last one to get set then will be Poppus. Glenn Boss on board. Golly stood up well with Syndicato towards the outside. They're all in now. Set to go. Aircooled has the number one gate, the Faith. Set and racing. Aircool jumped okay. Mitch's Magic slow. Wise up very slow. Away very fast. Finn C. And it leads from Dissect Poppus. And getting up on the inside. Aircool in company with Super Blitz. On their outside. Just behind the Mazan side. And they're clear. As they settle fully by the 600 metre mark to Golly. Improving up on the outside of Starbet. They're trailed closely in the field by Syndicato. And about three lengths to nobody. Il Marcio. No early pace. Then Mitch's Magic. And tailed off Wise up at the turn now. And around the home bend. It's Finn C leading by a couple of lengths here, cooled on the inside of Poppus. Arnside lost its balance at the turn and next dissect. It's Poppus going up quickly, air cooled trying to go with it. They've headed uh, the leader on the inside, Finn C, and then dissect on the outer, but Poppus is sprinting well into second placing is dissect, but Poppus is doing it well. And Poppus by a length and a half dissect. Air cooled just held third, I'd say, from Super Blitz, and they got away on nobody, followed in by uh, back behind them, then Finn C, who showed pace before weakening and then on side and behind those to finish was Starbent well back in the field is Golly in company with Syndicato and Wise Up Il Marcio and Mitch's Magic who missed the start stand by for numbers Poppas is the winner written by Glenn Boss good win second to dissect written by Damien Oliver who finished well and a photo for third 9-3 and a photo. Air cooled was getting tired. Super Blitz was coming home. And there's not much between those two for the minor end. There it is now. Air cooled has got it. So it's 9, 3 and 1 in the first of the day. And they've run 52.19. 52.19. Good get up there. 51.4 is the record. So the Peter Hayes machine with this Jeune Colt out of Larger Than Life, who's a half to Grandiose, beautifully related Colt, taking out the first in comfortable style. Numbers 9, 3 and 1 on the debutante stakes. It was fancied, uh, pompous. It was in the market, although the third place getter that you can see there on the fence, uh, that's air cooled. Uh, it was uh, odds on on the tote. But maybe a good uh, omen. Glenn Boss striking um, gold in the first at Caulfield today. Just racing a few off the fence, about three wide on the point of the bend. That's air cooled, the grey, getting through one off the fence, but only plodding. And uh, coming home fairly well uh, into second place, that was uh, Dissect uh, in those grey colours. And uh, Dissect runs in quite a nice uh, second ahead of air cooled. I suppose slightly disappointing uh, in third place considering the price or the... And racing immediately. And uh, reasonable start soon after the jump. Uh, visual displays and mystifying drop out to the tail and Royal Sancherac bounded out and led Blue Paris. Scepter and Oregon Seal and the Improve up fourth. About two lengths further back is uh, Market Price running fifth on the inside of Fortune Finder and they're followed by Granada Miss. Half a length to mystifying and two lengths to visual displays by the 1200 and Royal Sancherac made play about a length clear Scepter. Blue Paris tucked in third with Oregon Seal on her outside. She's caught three wide. Market price in next placing, travelling well fifth and two lengths to mystifying. And they're trailed at the 1,000 metre mark by Fortune Finder Granada Miss with its mouth open wanting more rain and back last as visual displays. As they make their way to the railway side, Royal Centurac has dictated the terms in a just a reasonably run race, about a half length on Scepter and Oregon Seal. Blue Paris in behind them fourth and market price is fifth the outside from mystifying Fortune Finder. And visual displays outside Granada Miss the last two. Up the side at the 600, Royal Centurac about three quarters scepter, market price pushing up in the centre with Oregon Seal her outside, then Fortune Finder Blue Paris waiting on a run right behind them they're bunching right up, then visual displays and mystifying with Granada Miss last of all, but only five lengths would cover the lot of them, and market price in the middle of the line has moved up to hit the lead the favourite from scepter, Fortune Finder wider out coming home well with Oregon Seal and visual displays, market price in front, Fortune Finder coming at it, but Oregon Seal got tightened up 
up there. It's market price and fortune finder with mystifying on the inside. Market price is giving something though and market price. A milestone win for Stephen King getting home by a neck to either fortune finder or mystifying. Visual displays right behind them from Oregon Seal and further back in the field then was Scepter. Granada miss out wider and then back at the tail was Royal Sancherac and Blue Paris. A narrow victory, but a solid one for Market Price, who found herself in front at the home turn in a bunched field, and Stephen King getting the best out of her to land his 1,000th career winner. Market Price, Stephen King, and that gives Peter Hayes the first two winners today. Market Price first, second to number 10, Fortune Finder, Darren Gauchy. And third, number eight, mystifying Chris Munt's numbers at 2, 10 and 8 in 138.73. It did develop into a sprint home, so Stephen uh, made that decisive move to get up on the pace coming around the home turn, and no doubt it's helped him uh, win the race. Uh, Fortune Finder did sort of duck in a little bit there and tightened up Oregon Seal onto visual displays half of the run, so the run of visual displays has been good. Even though it's uh, missed the place, it's only gone under uh, less than a length, beaten by its stable mate. Numbers 2, 10 and 8. Yeah, that's a re back on board. Big Pat favourite ahead of Vampire. Big Pat in light blue with black bands. Away they go. Candana led, bounded out well. He landed in front of Big Pat, who began quickly. Hurricane Fighter up quickly, looking for the lead. Vampire showing some speed today. He's right up on the pace in third from Chiaretto. Audrey's Knight behind them. Big Pat and Tuple run. Centurion caught a little wide. Garvanor and start me up as a couple of lengths away last of all. Big Pat, he's back to second last. And Hurricane Fighter led at the 1,200. He's two lengths to Vampire. Candana led third on the inside of Chiaretto. A length and a half to Garvanor, tracking out three wide in fifth placing followed by Audrey's Knight and just behind those horses then a Centurion and Tuple run one to Big Pat and about three lengths last of all start me up to the railway side and out in front Hurricane Fighter led by a length to Vampire Garvanor had moved up into third placing a length and a half Chiaretto fourth outside Candana led then Audrey's Knight travelling wider and Centurion Tuple run back behind them a length away is Big Pat and three lengths to start me up as they went to the 600 Hurricane Fighter led by a half Vampire Garvanor's been working wide. Candana lad right behind them, fourth from Chiaretto and they're trailed then by Audrey's Knight Centurion. Tuple Run and Big Pat giving them a long start and a long last to start me up. Hurricane Fighter led Vampire who's under the whip as they swing the corner. Then Chiaretto followed uh, behind these by Candana lad down on the inside. It's Hurricane Fighter at the 200. Vampire coming after him now. It's Hurricane Fighter being tackled by Vampire and they're well clear of Candana lad and then Chiaretto. Vampire's coming home the better grabs Hurricane Fighter who can't find anything and Vampire drew away and beat Hurricane Fighter by a length. Candana Lad is third, two and a half lengths away then Centurion and Chiaretto from Big Pat. Long break to Garvanor followed by Tuple Run and then came Audrey's Knight and tailed off last in the race. Start me up. Vampire. Number one written by Damien Oliver takes out the race to pay 390 and 150. But he sat right on the pace today in completely contrasting styles to what he did in Sydney at his most recent run and he's been too strong for Hurricane Fighter in the run home and third going to Candana lad numbers are one two and nine well he earned his money we don't create a fuss with these. Number eight, Zaro, five dollars twenty. Open betting race, isn't it? Five dollars twenty, Zaro, five seventy, Metallic. Number one, Sav Rocker, Black Ledger, and Bolter. They make up the top five. Here's Greg. Black Ledger, three from the outer. Away they go. Sav Rocker jumped OK next to Zaro. Vermont dropped out to last of all settling. Maxim Allen Merlin's Law got away quickly with Uncovered, and Stonington is working his way up on the pace. Black Ledger wide out looking for the front as they settle down, but Uncovered went through and led them settling. It's Uncovered at the 1600 from Black Ledger second to Stonington third. Maxim Allen away fourth the inside and Bolt is working three wide. Two lengths further back in the field is Musendan also three deep around the outside of Metallic and Zaro's 
goes over on the fence to Merlin's Law. Another length and a half behind them, Sav Rocker and Vermont last of all. Good, solid tempo up the hill near the 1200, set by Uncovered, a little over a length clear. In second placing is Black Ledger. A length and a half away in third is Balter moving up on the outside of Maxim with Stonington between them. Then two lengths behind these horses is Muse and Dan round the outside of Metallic and Zaro over on the fence. Two and a half behind them, Sav Rocker through on the inside of Merlin's Law and two lengths Vermont inside the thousand at uncovered a half length in front Black Ledger second Maximel third on the inside Boulder's been working he's still three wide Stonington in the centre's had a good run then came Metallic and Musendant who's also been very wide at the 800 Zaro a length and a half behind them he's only about four lengths sort of off the leader now then Merlin's Law Sav Rock or Am Vermont as they came up the side Maximel got right up on the inside they don't want the fence at the 600 and he's got through to, uh, to put his nose in front albeit narrowly uh, moving up on his outside Black Ledger Stonington is still there from Boulter and Metallic about five wide as they swing the corner with Zaro right behind them and uh, then Merlin's Law into the straight and it's Maximel with Black Ledger on his outside in front of Zaro right behind them under the whip then Stonington with Metallic out wide in the straight Black Ledger at the 200 got the better of Maximel Metallic is deeper out on the course from Merlin's Law and then Sav Rocker Black Ledger though he's away at the 100 metre mark he's got it one for Chrissy Bunce he's four lengths clear from Metallic and Maximel and Black Ledger walked it in. He's won it by five on the post, Metallic. Maximel, I think, just held third from Sab Rocker. Then Merlin's Law, Muzan, Dan, Stonington, Vermont has passed the tailenders. Uh, Boulter and Zaro, who dropped out and uncovered, finished last of all. Chris Munts, the winning rider for Graham Rogerson, number 10, Black Ledger, $6.20 and $2.10. And it won by as far as you could kick your hat. As far as you can see, a white cow and a bog and all the rest of the cliches. But punched right out, Black Ledger, $6.20 and $2.10. Number five, Metallic, $2.10. And it's a photo for third. Um, Greg Miles said a significant thing. Uh, they didn't want the fence. So maybe that's cutting up the inside. Uh, for today's meeting. Uh, in fact, on Saturday, the inside was uh, all of the rage. Now, at the Sandown Park, the Greyhounds, they're headed to the boxes. Uh, number two, Gifted Court, $2.60. Number one, Black Angel misses a $10 chance. Number two, Gifted Court, $2.60. Three, Supreme Ivory, nine, $17. Right to go. Pont on Flyer is coming up into a middle gate. She's the last to lock in for Damien Oliver, who won it in 82. Well, 92, they're set. Ready. They're racing now. And Blab began very fast on the inside. Stormy Summers got away OK. So did Donna Dior dashing Granada. Going forward, Tenneth and Piccolines up there forward from a wide barrier. Actress trying to come across. And so gorgeous, not on the pace today. She's about middle of the field, settling into stride. Donna Dior led. Piccoline went up to second. And just behind them, Blab on the inside. Actress has caught out three wide. Stormy Summers the centre. Now so gorgeous is starting to go around the field. She'll soon be up on the pace. Shelburne last caught about five wide on the improve. And they're followed by Tenneth as a favourite found the lead. Dashing Granada over on the inside, followed by Knights upon us to Pont on Flyer. She's a pretender, a length away in the field. It's Torpedo Gold, all time high. And Bravisa back on the rail last of all. They're inside the 800, and so gorgeous had crossed to the rail and led. Shelburne last moved up a neck away. She's done some work to get there. A length and a half, Donna Dior Piccolina's fourth. They're followed by actress Hardridden fifth. Blab the inside, then Stormy Summers, Tanneth off the track. Next Knights upon us, dashing Granada. Pont on Flyer called on for the runners. They near the corner. She's a pretender, a long way back as all time high. High starts a run round the outside and then it's Torpedo Golden Bravisa as actress dropped out a bad last. So gorgeous has been tackled left, right and centre as they corner. Shelburne Lass hit the front. Tanneth out wide coming at him. Donna Dior on the inside. So gorgeous has gone. Here's Pot on Flyer and all time high. Pot on Flyer all time high are racing up to tackle Tanneth. 100 metres to go. All time high and Tanneth with between them Pont on Flyer but all time high is racing away and all time high takes it out by two lengths. Pont on Flyer 
Sonic Grab second and a nose bobber ahead of Tanith. They were followed by Picoline, Shelburne Lass, and just behind those were Blab and Donna Dior. They were trailed by Dashing Granada, Knights of Potos, and behind these to finish in the race, she's a pretender, and then came Stormy Summers, and well back as Bravisa, it's Torpedo Gold, so gorgeous, tied very badly in the run home, and a distant last is Actress. All-time high has come from the back of the field, written by Stephen Arnold, trained by Russell Cameron to race away and win the Vinery Australia thousand guineas brilliantly. Number 11, all-time high, Stephen Arnold first. Number one was second, Pont on Flyer, written by Damien Oliver. And 15 has run the race of her life. Tanith for third, written by Peter Mertens in the time of 136.37. 136.37, it's 11, 1 and 15 in the thousand guineas. Fourth home was Dashing Granada at number eight and fifth in was Picoline number six. Well, she's put the riding on the wall with her tremendous, courageous performances in the three runs that she's had this time in chasing home so gorgeous who uh, folded up immediately they got round the home turn she just went down like a deck of cards the, the favorite so gorgeous and it was left to the sweepers to fight it out pot on flyer also settling a fair way back but uh, all honors completely have to go to the winner all time high the south australian filly in the russell cameron team who'd been just absolutely dead honest in all of her runs this time in just looking for a race where there was some speed on and she was able to get back and wind up thanks greg miles book order and tab order for saturday's caulfield cup later today we'll have the barrier draw which is very important there's the top six in tape betting for race six at caulfield as we go back to greg miles moved up into line they're nearly set super sequel goes in Middle Swin and Noir Ruler come up together, so they're set to go. Race six on the card. Grand Anchor's drawn the inside. Matter of Honour alongside it. Away they go. Grand Anchor out just reasonably down on the inside. Matter of Honour beat him out comfortably is going to lead. Parhealy is booting up quickly into second, placing San Telmo and Super Sequel right there. Just behind those horses, then imposing can a length to Barsak, who's trapped out wide. Two lengths, Modern General on the inside of Mills Win, and then came Matter of Honour and Vandahar. Noir Ruler, Secretary General, third to last, and then Kaleidus and Asks the Phantom at the 900. And Matter of Honour left alone by a length to Parhelia. Imposing Ken moving up third. Grand Anchor has a good run, fourth the rail. Super Sequel, fifth, Barsak is wide. One further back is Vandahar, and then San Telmo and Mills Win together. A length to Modern General, Secretary General is out three wide. Over on the inside, Helene Honor followed by Noir Ruler Ask the Phantom at a length, Kaleidus 15 off the leader, perhaps a shade less at the 500. And Matter of Honor by three quarters par here. Grand Neck is following the favourite into the race. They're followed by Super Sequel. San Telmo passes imposing Ken. And then came Modern General Helene Honor and Barsak as they swing into the straight. Matter of Honor went right away from the rails. Is the leader from Grand Anchor par here. Super Sequel's running on. At the 200, Matter of Honor in front of Grand anchor he's out the middle of the track matter of honor and he's uh, careering away from them he's got them well beaten coming home well super sequel and modern general uh, but it's all matter of honor he's canted home he's won it well super sequel grab second maybe modern general will get third from parhelia ask a phantom ran on well from mills win grand anchor battled only and then helene honor next to finish in the race was noir ruler and they were trailed then by secretary general barsak and san telmo vandahar and well back in the field to finish is imposing Ken and Kalatus last in in 123.84. Great effort of sustained front running from Matter of Honour, written by Jim Cassidy, trained by Paul Perry, who we keep saying just continues to come to Melbourne with a small team and continues to win races. And with uh, the half brother to Might and Power, it's been Matter of Honour who's uh, come away for a very comfortable win. Just nine starts for four wins left alone in front and dictated the terms it was a quick run race by the same token but he just drew right away from them in the run home and he's won it easily seven matter of honor jim cassidy second placing to number five super sequel darren gauchi and third number two modern general brett gardner seven five and two fourth in was par helia number eight in 123.84 and that third place getter, number two, Modern General, that's the one there on the outside in the blue and white colours, 
it's going to really liven up the trifecta on race six. It's uh, 380 and 190, Matter of Honour, which is one of the widest runners at the top of the running. Uh, beating number five, Super Sequel at 340, and number two, Modern General at 1050. Drifting out a bit, but always had them covered. Uh, the winner, uh, Matter of Honour. And uh, there's just a wall of them there fighting out the miners. But uh, clear cut win to the Newcastle Gallop of the Novo Castrian, Matter of Honour. Still two to go at Caulfield on Thousand Guineas Day. The next is due at 4.20 Eastern Daylight Saving Time. This is the final event of the Greyhounds today from Sandown Park in Melbourne. And uh, number one, Happy Joe. So she's a dad moved up. We await destruction point, Benazee, and runs to win, and we'll have them right to run. Benazee and the green cutters about to come up. Geronimo run at 5.20, favourite ahead of Carponic and Benazee. And then Point Danger and Destruction Point, the two point horses. Light's been turned on as Benazee came up and Destruction Point is the one we need to move in and we'll have them right to run. He's got the blinkers off today, Destruction Point. Moved into the outside barrier. So the field looks set. They're ready. Racing. Carponic began well. Missing the start was Point Danger down towards the inside. He took a backward step. Mighty Way began fast with Benazee and Destruction Point away in a hurry from an outside barrier. Geronimo Runners pushing up as well. At the 1,000 metres, Mighty Way led. Checkmore got up underneath him to join him on the fence. Geronimo run nearly a line of three on the outside. Tulings runs to win Frari. Over on the inside rail, just behind those is She's a Dart and then Destruction Point wider out. A length frisk me, Benazee off the track, followed by Dan. Dance with us, Carponic, a fair way back the inside. Then Point Danger, Lambada Boy, Kahuna Princess and My Jasper as they near the corner. Mighty Way on the inside and Geronimo run lead. Frari, Benazee is fourth and out wide. Just behind those checkmores dropped out of it on the fence. And then Frari followed by runs to win Dance with us. And Point Danger's pulled to the outside after a slow beginning. Well on the straight now. Mighty Way under the whip. Runs to win goes through in the red cap. Geronimo run wider out. Benazee coming with a run. Point Danger to the widest, Geronimo run is after runs to win, runs to win Geronimo run from Point Danger, Kahuna Princess, runs to win, Geronimo run, they hit the line, oh, close here, it's Geronimo run and runs to win, little between them, Kahuna Princess ran on well between them to grab third, then Benazee Frari, uh, Point Danger's been a very good run, he blew the start, then came Mighty Way, followed by Dan's Witters, Frisk Me, Destruction Point, Carponic, and behind them to finish were Checkmore Long Break Caesar Dard, my Jasper and Lambada boy. Uh, runs to win on the inside. Looks like he might last here. Judge needing the photo finish between runs to win and Geronimo run and Kahuna Princess between them in third. Yeah, runs to win. Noel Callow. Gee, he's having a terrific run, Noel. It's got it. 16 runs to win. Noel Callow is the winner. 16 runs to win. Noel Callow first. 13 second, Geronimo run, Brett Preble. And 15 third, Kahuna Princess, Lonergan Millam. 16, 13 and 15 on race 7 in 111.42. 111.42 time. Very, very close go, that one short half head, nose decision only. Uh, victory for runs to win at his second in run from a spell. He ran eighth at Flemington, but he just drew the wrong side of the track and was forced to come up the middle of the course last time out. It's almost an impossible thing to do, and uh, his effort there was very good. He'd been just highly consistent in his runs before that little break and uh, well and truly deserves his breakthrough victory today. He scraped home. It would have been a heartbreak for the connections had he gone under again because um, his form is just full of minor placings. One win before today, uh, but eight placings, two seconds and six thirds. So they deserved a photo to run their way. 20, 20 and 5, 40. Most punters probably would disagree with that, I suppose, <laughs> at a $20 winner. Uh, the favourite, Geronimo, run missing by a pimple. And Kahuna Princess coming home well. Run to follow, I think, is that of Point Danger. Something happened to him at the start. Took a backward step. He missed it by a couple of lengths. He's come right down the outside after drawing in. And uh, to get uh, as close as he did was a very fine effort. $20.20 20 and 5.40 for runs to win. Two even Geronimo run. 4.50 Kahuna Princess. 
And I'll tell you what, if you've got that trifecta, 16, 13 and 15, you're a very happy chappy. Uh, as runs to win under very vigorous riding from Noel Callow, was able to stave off the strong finish there of the uh, Brett Preble mount uh, over the final stages. But runs to win uh, on the inside, just held that slender margin uh, in the, the drive to the line. Uh, Saboteur in green with a white V. They're set and away. And one of the first to bound out Jasper's Gold in what was a beautiful start. Eladition heads it off early. In the early stages, Arctic Wind is steadying and Specular goes forward, followed by Ready to Wind. Settling footy, Saboteur is third last and just ahead of it is La Riviere. At the 1400, Specular set up two and a half lengths on Ready to Walk, moving to second. Eladison holding the rail third and they're followed by Kurt Afew with Ottoman around it. Over on the inside, Jasper's Gold is in sixth placing on top of the hill at the back of the track, one to Arctic Wind. A length and a half further back, La Riviere on the inside of Indian Ridge and two Saboteur. Three to Captivator and two to Marico. The pace is pretty steady and they head to the 1,000 metre mark with Specular by a length ready to win, uh, ready to walk rather, in second placing. Eladison is on the rails in third from Kurt Afure and Ottoman who's been working wide. Two lengths behind those horses then Jasper's Gold on the inside, around at Arctic Wind. Then came Indian Ridge and the All Orange, followed by La Riviere, Saboteur, Marico and Captivator last by the 800 metres. Ready to walk had moved up on the outside to join Specular. Ottoman is in third placing, followed by Eladison, Jasper's Gold through on the inside as Arctic Wind makes a run around Kurt Afure. La Riviere is next trying to get into the clear with Indian Ridge on its outside and then Saboteur, Marico and Captivator. Nearing the home turn now, ready to walk in the middle, Ottoman the outside, go to the lead over Specular. Eladison, Kurt Afure just behind them, here's Saboteur letting down with his run now. He's coming to the outside with a good finishing burst. Specular stayed on the inside rail is a narrow leader but uh, coming after it quickly is Saboteur at the 200, he's raced into the lead, Eladice and Ottoman, Indian Ridge is coming home fairly well, but it's all Saboteur, always careering right away for Brett Preble, and Saboteur, a very good win, he's won it by four lengths to Indian Ridge, Eladice and just held third from Arctic Wind, and La Riviere, when it was all over, did its best, then Ottoman, Kurt Afure, Captivator, well back Specular who stayed on the fence and folded up, and then Mariko, Jasper's Gold, and last in was ready to walk. Smart uh, victory there by Saboteur, Brett Preble and David Hall combining. Very good win. Sat well back but uh, looped them coming up towards the home turn. And Brett really didn't have to do a great deal over the concluding stages. He just allowed this full brother to Shaskay to cruise down and he's won it very easily. Indian Ridge has run second. Number 15 written by Stephen King and 12 is third. Eladition is third, so it's 8, 15 and 12 official. And uh, even though the um, well-backed runner Saboteur has won, the trifectas and Quinellas are looking good with outsiders running second and third. $7 the place Indian Ridge and $10.60 Ella Dixon. He had to wait all day, but he got home on the final race. Brett Preble for his fans at Caulfield. And that was Thousand Guineas Day.